Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from thomasfitzgeraldphotography.com. Today I have a quick Photoshop tip for you. What I'm going to do is look at fixing a bad crop in Photoshop. So basically what we have here is a, a photograph and the framing of it, it's not bad, but it's I don't like the fact that this is very close to the top of the frame. Um, it needs a bit of breathing room. So apart from the framing issue, it's not too bad an image and it's, it's usable for what I want to use it for. So what I'm going to do is look at fixing this in Photoshop. It's actually quite straightforward. Um, so let's let's dive right in. So I'm going to start by selecting the crop tool and I'm in Photoshop CC just in case you're wondering. So what I want to do is just add a bit of space to the top. So I'm going to start by dragging this up. Okay, and that should be enough room at the top. And then I want to just compensate by getting it roughly the same at the bottom. I can fix the aspect ratio properly once I've done this. So let's just go with this for the minute. Um, let's just give it a bit more room just to be on the safe side. We can fix the crop then afterwards as again once we've uh, filled in the sky. So double click on that to crop the image. So now we have this black area at the top and what we want to do is fill it with the sky color. Now you could just you try and match it with a gradient but it does, as you can see there's kind of a arc going on in the brightness level so that's going to be very difficult to match. And there's also some kind of weird pattern, grainy pattern going on. And um, this was taken with an old camera, so. Anyway, let's show you quickly how we can fix this. This doesn't take very long at all. So I'm going to select the magic wand. I uh, have my tolerance set fairly low because we just want to select the back. So click on that. And then what I want to do is I want to expand that. So if I go to filter, modify, expand. And I want to expand it by four pixels. So what that does is it just tells it to sample a little bit of the edge as well. Because what I'm going to do here is use Content Aware, Content Aware Fill. Okay, so to do that we go Edit Fill or Shift F5, and we slide it to Content Aware, and hit OK. Okay, and then if I deselect, you can see it's done a pretty good job of filling that in. Now there's some, there's a little bit of patterning going on there, and you can kind of see some of the edges, but it's not too bad. You probably would get away with that. If you want to, you can try and smooth that off with the clone stamp tool, but again, you're not really going to see that, I don't think. Um, to fix it up further, what I would do is maybe add a vignette, so it's just kind of hide it. Let me just see if I take the clone. Actually, I don't want the clone tool. I want the healing brush tool. Let's just see if we run along the edge there. Does that make it better or worse? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a bit better. You can't really see it. Okay, so one last thing what I would do here is just to kind of hide this a bit more and just to give a bit more emphasis to the image because it's you've got this kind of strong sunlight on the building. So what we will do is we'll just add a little bit of a vignette. So I'm using an action I have myself. I'm just going to run that. Okay, so there we go. Problem solved. And the crop now is much better. It's, it's much better with the space above the image. Um, so there we have it. That's a very quick way to fix a bad crop in Photoshop. Obviously, this isn't going to work for every image. It depends on what's in the frame. If you have a lot of detail at the edges, this obviously is not going to work or it's going to be difficult. But Content Aware Fill is pretty impressive when it works. So for areas like this where you've got a, a kind of a solid color but with patterning in it, it works really well. Okay, so I hope this has helped and uh, stay tuned for more videos soon.